Hey beautiful ones, it's Whitney and I'm taking over Jodine's channel today. <laughs> Not really, but anyways, <laughs> I'm here to answer some questions about law school, my first year of law school. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, who are you, name and age? I'm Whitney and I'm 26 and I'll be about 27 in a month. When did you start studying for law? I majored in law, jurisprudence, jurisprudence and social thought in undergrad, but it was very much like a theory-based uh, law like classes, so it wasn't really um, practical. It wasn't pre-law program, so um, I didn't really start studying for law until I went to law school. I didn't really do any prep. A lot of people, I think, get some books early or start doing stuff like that, but um, the LSAT is not really legal prep or like prep for law school. So yeah, I say when I got there is when I started. Why did you want to go into law? Um, well, I've always been interested in public interest and social justice. And I think the root of it was that. And I worked at the New York City Civilian Complaint Review Board as an investigator um, before going to law school. And so I was kind of frustrated in my role there, but I also had um, to interact with the legal system and law a little bit. So my interest grew there. Um, I liked reading cases, but I also saw law as being the tool to help people um, and create social change. So that's really what drew me to law. Um, I wanted to learn more about it and explore it in different areas, um, including like the corporate world. So I decided to go to law school for that reason. How did you go about <laughs> choosing your school? Um, well, I always have been thinking about law school and I aimed high, I kind of heard things about Georgetown Law. I really wanted to go to Georgetown, it was like my top one, but I didn't get in. But it's for the best because I think that was really just a, that's what I thought I wanted or thought I needed. Um, I knew it was prestigious and so um, that appealed to me. I heard a little bit, I knew someone who went there. But ultimately, I ended up going to Howard University, and I don't think I could be happier with the choice. I think the environment <laughs> is really um, nurturing. I think the professors are excellent. I think the cla my classmates, you know, there's tons of different personalities, people from all different walks of life, even though it's HBCU. Um, I really appreciate having that HBCU experience, even remotely. Um, it contrasts to my PWI undergrad experience um, in some positive and some negative ways. But um, ultimately, I think one of the things I was scared about going to law school was like the super competitive environment where it was like kind of like a dog eat dog world. And I didn't want that. And people are just really supportive at Howard. You have like this familial feeling. And um, I think people just want to see you su succeed. So, um, and then of course, it's kind of like the social justice um layers to classes and we look at things with more like a critical race theory um in a lot of our classes and i appreciate that aspect too That's one of the reasons i chose howard well i think it chose me in a sense like so once i got rejected from georgetown um i got accepted from howard but i realized like our missions when i was writing the essay my mission aligned with howard's mission um to train up like social engineers um who would be attentive to the problems within our communities so of color and you know lower socioeconomic class and stuff like that so i really felt like it was meant to be at the, in the end do you know you want to specialize in not exactly um i know i want to pay these loans um <laughs> so right now i'm probably gonna i'm aiming for big law right now i'm at a big law firm um <laughs> so over the summer um, and I think that's probably what I want to do. I think there's so many different practice areas and I really am just trying to learn as much as possible and get exposed to as much as possible. Um, so I think um, I want to just specialize in regulatory law right now. What's your best memory from your first year? Best memory? I think like one of the memories I cherish is my torts professor. Um, like my torts class, she would often begin class almost every class we had she played gospel music at the beginning and kind of just like seeing the chat blow up was like oh this is my jam or like people dancing on camera like it was early fairly early in the morning too so it was just like you know being remote and just having like you know the social unrest and the racial unrest that was happening for a semester it was just like a positive warm environment to come into so 
it helped balance the stress of law school. I think that's like one of my favorite memories. Uh, what's one course you struggled with? Well, <laughs> I think I think property. I think I struggle to be engaged and I think I struggle like for some of the subject matter I think I struggle to be engaged and uh, ultimately the test was like one short answer and one and multiple choice which I don't think multiple choice is my strong suit so I think in the end like I struggled the most in that class and I think that probably was my lowest grade um, the whole year which it wasn't that low but <laughs> it was still <laughs> lower what song got you through? So your encouraging song that got you through this first year? Never, never lost. Never lost. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, what's your uh, pump up song like that gets you in the mood? The mood is to open, crack open the law book. <laughs> I, don't I don't think I don't think one exists. But no, it's kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't think I have a pump up song. I'll try to think of it. Come back to me. Uh, okay. Uh, what were your must have items for the year? Pins. Lots of pens, lots of highlighters, um, and notebooks. I'm like an old school person, so I write, like I wrote most of my notes, at least for a semester. Um, so yeah, I think that was well, really the must have was a webcam on your computer because it was remote. But anyways, those were, <laughs> that was probably my, my must, my must have. Uh, what was your most repeated meal? Came get, down to it. I get bored easily, so I didn't repeat that many meals, I don't think. I say, what did you repeat? That's like, so was there no, was there one meal that like, I just with like, back yeah. And, turkey burgers. Turkey burgers. Because you get the protein. <laughs> it's healthy. And it's quick and easy to make. And probably some like sweet potato fries, you know, or home fries, something like that. And some vegetables. You know, balanced meals. Key. So I think those are, yeah, that was my go-to meal. Other than oatmeal. And smoothies. <laughs> smoothies are really the go-to meal, you know. <laughs> Protein smoothies, protein, protein shakes. Name an experience where you were most nervous this semester. Oh yeah, I got you on that one. <laughs> I was like freaking out about our oral arguments. Um, I don't like speaking, which you might be like, oh, why you want to be a lawyer then? Well, I don't want to be, I don't really want to be a litigator. Um, I don't think, I, you know, I don't want to be in front of a judge too much, but um, in a courtroom. But so our oral arguments, we had to, they were remote, like everything else, but um, we basically had to talk and like answer questions on the spot from judges. And um, yeah, I was really nervous about that because I don't think, you know, speaking in front of people is my strong suit. I prefer writing. And this was for my writing class. So I was very frustrated because I was like, I'm doing fine. I'm doing well in writing. And now you want me to like speak in front of people. But anyways, it ultimately went well, even if, you know, like I was sweating like crazy, but it went well. Um, yeah, that was my most nervous experience. Okay. Three tips to survive your first year of law school. I think having, striving to keep a balanced life as much as possible. Um, so continue to do the things that, you know, make you feel balanced, make you feel happy, um, that bring joy to you, even amidst, you know, stress. So it's like holding on to those things into routine. Um, going to bed like actually go to bed, like give yourself a cutoff. Um, and then I think having a supportive network, whether it's like friends you meet in law school or, um, you know, your family, your friends. Oh, I have one more tip, I think. <laughs> trusting yourself, like trusting yourself in your own process and not doing what anyone else is doing just because, you know, people might stay up to 4 a.m. and you think, oh, I should be staying up to 4 a.m. or, you know, Stuff like that. So just trust yourself, trust your gut, and cut back on social media because, you know, you can get persuaded that you're not doing enough easily. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you like the video, and come back for more content from The Hustling Homebody. Thank you. <laughs>